We're going down a rabbit hole and it all begins in 2019 in the run-up to the general election when this picture came to light of a four-year-old boy with pneumonia having to sleep on the floor of a hospital in Leeds because of a lack of beds. Pretty embarrassing for Boris Johnson and the Tories who wanted to show that the NHS was in good hands, especially as earlier in the year Johnson had had this encounter with an angry parent. The NHS has been destroyed. It's been destroyed. It's been destroyed. And now you come here for a press opportunity. Well, actually, there's no press here. What do you mean there's no press here? Who are these people? With less than a week left until the actual election day, watch how Johnson deals with this issue when confronted by the image. What was your reaction when you saw that shocking picture of Jack Willem and the four-year-old on well, the floor of a hospital? I have abs every possible sympathy with, uh, with families and with patients. How did you feel when a, you saw the photo, uh, Prime We don't have a, uh, a good experience in the, in the NHS. And uh, what we wanted to do, and though I think most people do, the NHS on the whole does a fantastic job. And we back them and we, and we support them. But we have you seen the photo, Prime Minister? We need to be making... Have you seen the photo? I've been told about it by the BBC. You, we need to be making investments. This is the photo. This is the photo. We need to be making investments now, and that's why we're putting 34 billion pounds. This, this in. is a four-year-old boy, Prime I Minister, suspected of pneumonia, forced to lie on on, on the floor on a pile of coats. As you can see, all Johnson wants to do is to go back to his rehearsed speech of get Brexit done, 40 new hospitals, etc, etc. But for once, the reporter is forcing his attention back to his original question of the sick boy on the floor of the hospital. I understand. And, and obviously we have every possible sympathy for everybody who has a bad experience in the NHS. And that's why we're putting a record in the, in the NHS now. But we cannot get on and make those investments. We cannot get on and turn this country around, putting 20,000 more police, upgrading criminal hospitals, 40 years. I'm talking about this boy, know, Prime Minister. How right. do you feel looking at that photo? Of course. And let me, let me tell you, let me tell you that I, I haven't had a chance to look at that. I'll look, I'll why don't you look at it now, Prime Minister? I'll study it in a, I'll study it look later. at it now. This is I, Jack Willamette. Um, if, if you don't mind, I'll, 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 give, you an, I'll give you an interview uh, now. What we, what we are doing is we are taking this country forward uh, and we are investing in the NHS and uh, what would be the worst thing possible would be to have a government that is mired in uh, more deadlock, more disarray and unable to move forward. So uh, I have every sympathy with... You refuse to look suffering. at the photo. You've taken my phone, put it in your pocket, Prime Minister. His mother says the NHS is in crisis. What's your response? Oh, I'm sorry, look. I, I, it's a terrible, terrible photo, and, I'm, and I apologise, obviously, to the families and all those who, who, who have terrible experiences in the NHS. But uh, what, we are, what we are doing is supporting the NHS, and on the whole, I think patients in the NHS have a, uh, a much, much better experience than this poor kid has had. That's why we are making huge investments into the NHS, and we can only do it if we get Parliament going, if we unblock the, the current deadlock and we move forward. And I really think it would be totally wrong for this country to spend another year in paralysis, another year with uh, no forward movement and uh, deadlock and division with Jeremy Corbyn and the, and the Labour Party. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn, sorry, not like Jeremy Corbyn and Nicola Sturgeon. In coalition? I'm sorry to have taken your phone. There you, there you go. Sorry. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you very much. Thank Click you. here to see how the situation with the sick boy on the hospital floor escalated. Or... Click here to find out what Boris Johnson thinks of single mums and working class men.